brothers and sisters in Islam, may Allah bless you all. This video, inshallah ta'ala, I'm uh, just responding to uh, Ali Da'wa, our brother Ali Da'wa, may Allah guide him. As, uh, I've seen his video, and uh, subhanallah, I couldn't believe it while I was watching. And I'm going to show you the hypocrisy of this individual, the double standard. You know, it's unbelievable. And you're going to see it, and you're going to understand it, inshallah ta'ala. I mean, everyone knows what happened to me. I got attacked by uh, uh, four claiming to be Muslims, but I believe there's a, there's a plan to stop me from giving da'wah to non-Muslims because the enemies of Islam, because uh, Muhammad Hijab knows that as well a long time ago when the police called him and they told him that the Shamsi is getting threats. It's, some people want to attack him, all right? That was like a few years back, all right? Because they cannot stop us. They have noticed Islam is spreading. They have noticed, look, we're trying to make Islam look bad, but our British... Uh, people are accepting Islam. And one of the guys, Alhamdulillah, Allah give us sincerity and Allah forgive my shortcomings. You know, I'm not the best person to give da'wah, but Alhamdulillah, people have observed and noticed, even the non Muslims have noticed many people accepting Islam through this individual, but Allah still fear. I'm saying, but Allah still fear, not them, okay? So, how can we stop this guy? So, this uh, cowardly attack, okay? Uh, and look, subhanAllah, I used to, even now, because people are claiming they were to be Muslims. Now, I'm doubting them, but if they're Muslims, may Allah guide them. Look, subhanAllah. The first two days, I was very angry, subhanAllah. Even the way I was walking the street, until some brothers, you know, contacted me. He said, I need to calm down. Because I started recording myself, walking by myself on the street. And putting it online to show I'm not scared, I'm here. You understand? But some brothers and sisters said, look, Akhi, you're dirty, brother. You should not be behaving like this. You have to be patient. to really advise me. And it's true. I became like paranoid, man. Start staring at people. And I'm thinking, what I'm doing, man? So Alhamdulillah, young brother and sister advised me, I took the advice. Even the ulama advised me, but even I took the advice from both. Alhamdulillah, because I believe what they said is true. You know, I'm not going to say to them, I know better than you. Alhamdulillah. Anyway, the shaykh, barakallahu alaykum. Our buddy, uh, uh, our buddy, our brother Ali Dawa, may Allah guide us and guide him. Instead of rebuking and refuting the cowardly attack, he was trying to justify it. Even though I don't agree with it, you know, no, not this, you know, he's a he, brother. I mean, even non-Muslims, well, like the non-Muslims, were honest, they said that was a cowardly attack. Because, you know, something even, uh, is known, the, 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 the preacher, what they call it, like, in, uh, I'll tell you this story, sorry. Uh, once, uh, I remember when I started practicing, and I was wearing imama, and I got into a fight with one guy, and there was a Jamaican uh, uncle there, old Jamaican person was there, and he said, you're a man of God, man, you shouldn't be fighting. And I remember that's the, the same mentality back home we have. Man of God, you should not be fighting. Of course, you have to defend yourself, no doubt. But also, you should not attack the man of God. He looks aye. And let alone a preacher, let alone Russian him. He looks aye. He's like Islamically, from Islamically perspective, from non-Islamic perspective, to attack a preacher is aye. Is you know a man? You're just coward, bunch of cowards. That's how they even non-Muslim look at it. Subhanallah. So Ali Dawa is in, instead of rebuking it, refuting it, calling it what in reality is, which is a coward attack, he starts justifying it. Oh Shamsi, but you have to know. Nah, Barakallah for the advice. Well, I take that advice. You have to be careful what you say. Sahih. No doubt. Sometimes speakers call you get angry. I agree with that. And may Allah reward you and may Allah guide you that what you said is true. I'm not gonna deny deny that. But to try to justify it based upon uh, a clip that was taken out of context. Okay, there is a verse in the Quran which the enemies of Islam try to utilize when Allah said, Kill them wherever you find them. Are you going to say, well, do Allah? No, Allah should not say that? Or are you going to say to the, to the person who misunderstood it, Go back to the context? Likewise, when the, some brothers and sisters who are honest, they contacted me directly and they said, Look, Akhi Shamsi, we like you. We're not Salafis, but we like you, Dawah. We see how you give da'wah to non-Muslims, especially when, when you see people accepting Islam through you. But, Akhi, how can you do it? The, the people are saying you're mocking Palestinians. I said, which video? About the Starbucks. When I clarified it to them, and I told them to go back to the original video, then, wallahi, all of them, without any exception, all of them, they said to me, look, Akhi, well, a few of them said, look, Akhi, I'm going to go back, change the comments, because I made a bad comment about you, and it's true, it's dangerous, especially TikTok. TikTok, Akhwa, and Akhawat, how you just, Take one minute clip, and it's not just one, the, the whole clip. Even that clip is edited. Even the clip itself is edited. 
and who who did it by the way and uh, uh, spread it haqiqat chu daniel haqiqat chu this person after our discussion with him in speaker's corner he became uh, mentally troubled because we showed the word he cannot uh, bring quran and sunnah he's just emotional guy rather he became he became liberal by asking people about voting fatwa you know asking people to to to, to give an opinion about big issues which were allah clearly explicitly mentioned the time of peace and world go back to the scholars and the leaders he was asking layman muslim speakers corner he didn't like it so he became troubled mentally troubled and he just lied against me accusing me of many things he accused us i work for the police when a brother he didn't even threaten him he went and he started at, uh, saying that uh, he's gonna call the police subhanallah look how quick allah exposed them anyway so my dear brothers and sisters the issue of ali da'wah why i'm going why i said he's, uh, he has double standard and he's hypocrite when he wanted to utilize the video of uh, brother Abu Taymiyyah, may Allah give him tawfiq and hidayah, when he tried to use, use Abu Taymiyyah's video, when he was attacked by one person, one to one, he was not making no excuse for the other person that attacked Abu Taymiyyah. He was not saying, oh, maybe Abu Taymiyyah said something, maybe Abu Taymiyyah uh, uh, attacked them verbally, maybe this and that. No, he was not. He was condemning it, rebuking it without any hesitation but with us four people attacking me one person coming from masjid praying isha walking down wallahi my dear brothers and sisters it was it was just the creed of allah the creed of allah ta'ala even the jacket i was wearing some long jacket big puffy jacket walking like this you know you can't even move probably subhanallah and it was dark on my side it was dark the other side was light on my, the park side it was dark okay and one of them came said salam to me three attacked me from behind like, subhanallah it was like and he tried to he tried to justify in it by saying okay look what you have to know you're saying everything brother the clip that you used it was taken out of context Ach, even the person who attacked ibn Taymiyyah tried to claim he's my student he's not my student Ach, the brother Ach, i've asked i said anyone knows about the attack of abu Taymiyyah? yeah one brother said yeah the guy we know him he came to the masjid he said he told us and we told him off i said haram Ach, what you've done it's not funny he was laughing. He said, it's not funny. Alhamdulillah, look. And he, then he came to my dawah table. I told him I have to leave, Akhi, because he's mentally not well. And he's not my student. Stop lying. He's not my student. He's not my student. Barakallah, Fik. So, anyway, look at the hypocrisy and double standard. One to one, he was going crazy about it. Why? Because he will, that, that attack will uh, serve his agenda. And guess the Salafis. But my attack... He's going to pretend that he cares. Or, inshallah, he cares. I'm not going to say pretend. Let me take that back. He cares about me and getting attacked and so on. But he was trying to justify it. When my one is a cowardly attack, like even non-Muslims online, they are saying it. Even the people who are not even practicing Muslims. They said there's a cowardly attack. Shamsi, when he's walking the streets, he's not expecting someone's going to attack him. Generally speaking, he's not carrying a weapon over him. He gives that what people know him. If you have a problem with him, come speak to him. If you don't agree with him, khalas. Subhanallah, how many people I saw from Speaker's Corner or people I had discussion with online, I never think, you know what? He's a Shi'i, let me get four people to attack him. Why? Why am I going to do that for? He has a groove. Me, khalas, Allah, guide him. Subhanallah. Anyway, Allah, so the Shaykh, Barakallah, uh, uh, Ali Da'wa, Akhi, let me refute the doubt. That clip was taken out, uh, was taken out of context. Uh, yep. That clip. Uh, firstly, let me break down for you what happened exactly. I was in Speaker's Corner, uh, drinking Starbucks, all right? And uh, that day I didn't know about uh, uh, their support the Zionists, as people claim, okay? Because a team now, Allah, my dear brothers and sisters, no one can bring me proofs, clear proofs. Like I said, they, they are franchi franchised, according to my knowledge. Even, I'm going to show you how crazy it is, you know? Like now, or before that, let me just carry on, because sometimes I cut off and digress. So, uh, so, I didn't know about the boycotting. Uh, the day after, someone sent me a message on our Instagram page platform. He said, Akhi, look, how are you drinking Starbucks when they're supporting the Zionists? So I was like, Akhi, that doesn't make any sense to me. If you believe Starbucks support the Zionists, you are utilizing Instagram which support the Zionists, the owner. So where are you utilizing in the first place? The brother, mashallah, he was honest and the studio said, oh, it's true, Akhi, how are you? Yeah, he knew that. That, that. that doesn't make any sense, yeah? 
Bear in mind, my dear brothers and sisters, I personally, I believe boycotting, it goes back to individuals. I don't follow the opinion you have to go back to the leaders. Except if you're in Muslim countries. You cannot start propagating it because this is something which go back to the leaders. But if you're doing it personally, that's up to you. So, I, for example, I, according to my knowledge, uh, Max Spencer and McDonald's, yes, they support the Zionists. All right? I'm not going to buy from them. But now, I'm not going to go around accusing every Muslim brother or sister buying from Max Spencer or McDonald's to be a Zionist because they don't follow my way. Even though they make dua for Palestinian brothers and sisters, even they give charity, even they cry, they feel sad. No. Barakallahu alaikum. Look, alhamdulillah, to the justice of al sunnah al-Jama'ah. So, alhamdulillah, when I was uh, on live stream with uh, uh, Brother Faris, we were speaking and I said, look, akhi, uh, uh, and I was in the same video, my dear brothers and sisters, I said, I believe Starbucks is franchised. Meaning that when you buy from them, the money doesn't go to the Zionist. The person, he owns it. Either it's like in our area, people say it's, it's Muslim, either Pakistani or Moroccan, Wallahu alam. But it, it's franchised, okay? So any Muslim thing, well, hang on. We know that if a brother believes it's franchised, so we cannot accuse him to be Zionist. Because he doesn't even accept that he supports Zionist to begin with. Tayyip, for example, you cannot call a Muslim kafir because he, he abandons the prayer if he said to you, I don't follow the opinion that I'm kafir. Even though it's a major sin, no doubt about it. But I'm not going to start saying, you specifically, generally speaking, you can say, but you cannot go to Muhammad bin Abdul Qadir. You are kafir because you don't pray. And if you don't, if you don't, if you don't believe you are kafir, then you're enemy of Allah. We have to wage war against each other. Because he doesn't even believe to begin with, he's a kafir. He believes that Prophet uh, the, 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 or the, the hadith does not apply to him. So my dear brothers and sisters, look, subhanAllah. So how Dangerous it is when Ali Da'wa, our brother Ali Da'wa Malah, guide him, trying to equivalent the blood of the Muslims, which is more honorable than the Kaaba, to a coffee. And he's claiming that I was, I was laughing, and uh, people say I was mocking it. How was mocking? I was laughing about myself. I'm addicted to coffee, akhi. Subhanallah. And also I was laughing about the hypocrisy of some people. How on the earth you telling me to boycott something which is, is a doubtful matter, it's not clear, and you are paying taxes to America who directly, uh, or everyone agrees, that they pay the Zionist army. Not the people, not the, 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 the layman, uh, 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 Yahudi. No, the Zionist army who kills the Muslims directly. And you see, pay taxes. And you just, so, I, so I was laughing at specific people. Who, uh, they show hypocrisy. Barakallah ikum. How on earth me personally, defending my brothers and sisters in Palestine, Making dua for them in the masjid. Uh, the things I said, these people who, uh, from the Khawarij who are, who, who are being influenced by the Khawarij ideology, they, they, they don't even show their faces. And they will never be able to say what I said to the Zionist in speakers corner openly, showing my face. Then you chat to Allah and guess me? Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I, you know, now, as I said, putting everything together, I believe the attack was a plan from the enemies of Islam. Utilize these people. You know, I, I start doubting them now, doubting their Islam. Why? Because Shamsi is known every Friday, give da'wah to non-Muslims. And non-Muslims are accepting Islam. So why are you going to attack Shamsi? Shamsi is known to defend Palestine. Shamsi is known, uh, for example, about shirk. They say, my dear brothers and sisters, wallahi, look, I'm not perfect. Like I said, sometimes maybe I say things out of anger. Sometimes it's slip of the tongue. Sometimes, no doubt about it, you know. So if a brother contacted me, not just brother, a few brothers and sisters, told me, Akhi, how can you say that what's happening in Gaza because of the shirk? I said, Wallah, ya Akhi, oh, Ukhti, may Allah bless you. If you show me what I said, that word for word, that the reason that the people of Gaza are getting killed because of the shirk, Wallah, I will take it back. Wallah, and I said, Astaghfirullah, to boy, lay. What I said, there was a video, a long video. I was speaking to our brothers. We were speaking what makes the Muslims weak, what prevents us from... Um, Victory, Maasi, Shirk in our countries. I don't understand why no one cares about our uh, Algeria. Eh? When I said Algeria, there's a Shirk in it. Whatever understood, Shamsi doesn't mean every Algeria is a Mushrik. Or whatever happens in Algeria in the hardship because of Shirk. Why no one understood it this way? But how come about Pal Palestinians? It's like you care about the Palestinians more than Algerians, okay? Or you try to utilize because they're in the war 
and you know people are emotional, try to utilize it to make me look bad, even though people know I defend Palestine. Barakallah. And when I defend the Palestine, I do it for Allah's sake. I don't do it because they are Arabs, no, because they are Muslim, because Islam. Islam is first before anything. Barakallah of Ikum. So the shade, Barakallah of Ikum. So I speaking, and the brother said, What about Palestine or something? I said, Even Palestine is a shirk. Tayyip. So I said, That's what I said. Okay? And uh, I never said, okay, because like in and, and the, the same video I said, sometimes something happened to us, either is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or is a punishment, or it could be both. How can we deal with it by going back to Quran and Sunnah? For example, what happened to me? It could be a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but that doesn't mean those who attacked me, they attacked me out of jealousy when I'm giving da'wah, which I stop me from giving da'wah, and I, but Allah will never stop, inshallah ta'ala, as long as I have a life, a soul in me, and as, but Allah, until Allah decrees for me. Hatta yuqadr Allah. Naam. Until Allah decrees something for me. And I ask her to keep me firm, to give me sincerity. So, the shade, barakallahu feekum. So I was speaking in general. Sometimes things happen to us, maybe, well, like it happened to me. Maybe it's a punishment, maybe it's a test. Tayyip. So the shade, I was speaking in general. People taking, taking clips out of context, and try to make me look bad. And I would tell them, look, if you're a Muslim, then remember Allah's statement. مَا يَلْفِضُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ We will stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that he made the dhulm haram for himself. Oppression. And he made the haram upon ourselves. Upon us. And, and Allah told us to not oppress one another. Okay? So, and now, lie against me and try to oppress me by, if you come, I'm in speaker's corner, brother. I'm giving da'wah. Everyone knows me, alhamdulillah. I don't hide. I don't put black lava. I'm not behind the screen. No one can see me. Everyone knows me, alhamdulillah. And we'll, even non Muslims, even Shia, wallah, when they see me, Shia, I saw many times Shia, four of them, they come and try to speak to me. And they say, Shamsi, you're very like uh, relaxing here, man. You know, I said, because speaker's corner makes you angry. Like, when I speak about anger, Shia, I'm not thinking, oh, if, I, if I see a Shia person, khalas, I'm going to fight. No, I want khair for him. He wants khair for me, let's speak, let's have a discussion. Subhanallah. So the shade, barakallah, the, the, uh, to the other thing as well, about, look how they lie. They say, Shamsi said uh, about the Gaza, they should not fight. Should read the Quran. Yeah, where did I say that? Where? Where I said they should not fight? Clearly, I said they should fight. Yeah. Clearly, in many videos, I said, if now enemies attack us, and we are mixed Salafis, Sufis, Ash'aris, Maturidis, Ikhwanis. Now the enemies attacking us. We have to fight, defend ourselves. We're not going to say, wait, wait, are you Ikhwani? Are you Sufi? Defend ourselves. We have to defend our families, ourselves. The Ula mentioned that. It's called Def Asail. Tayyip. But now if we don't have a power, Quran and Sunnah, please, anyone disagree with me, what I'm going to say, if we don't have a power, we don't have ability, and we are able to... Uh, 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 avoid the fight and the killing we do it until we get stronger we come back this upon the Quran and Sunnah teaching if you disagree with me then let's, let's discuss it come to the hour table on Friday or speak his corner Sunday discuss it in a respectful way in a good manner that's what I said I said about the, the Gaza people that have to defend themselves the ulama mentioned that who am I to give opinions to begin with whatever I say what the ulama said so stop lying against me saying, Shamsi said, if someone attack you, you read the... And about normalization. That's what Shamsi said. Brother, I'm talking about hudna and a sulh. Peace treaty. Tayyip. If it's going to benefit the, the Muslims, I said the, the Muslims in Palestine, then that's what is based upon the Quran and Sunnah. Yeah, you have a problem with, with me or Quran and Sunnah. Alhamdulillah. That doesn't mean I'm, I'm perfect. Whatever I say is truth. I'm human being. I make mistakes. But alhamdulillah, I try my best always to go back to Quran and Sunnah and do with the Salaf. So my, to conclude, my dear brothers and sisters, and break it back to point, break it uh, down, break it down to point. Firstly, Brother Ali, may Allah guide you and fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In that video you made about me, you are very, uh, uh, you are unfair and just dealing with my situation based upon how you dealt with Abu Taymiyyah's attack. You should clearly call it an cowardly attack there's no justification for it. Barakallah of Ikum. Four of them never came to me and told me you're going to fight you, Shamsi. They had to deceive me. Barakallah of Ikum. The, 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 uh, the third thing is stop utilizing the clip that is being 
made by people who have hatred against me, trying to make me look bad. And that clip was taken out of context. Alhamdulillah, how can I mock my dear brothers and sisters in Palestine or any Muslim country? How? Especially if they're going through hardship. A'udhu Billah. Anyone does that, you have to doubt his Iman. So my dear, and to, to, to mention other points, my dear brothers and sisters, be aware of clips that people are spreading against me on TikTok and other platforms, social media platforms. If you want to speak to me directly, my page is not my personal one. Uh, that's da'wah. Uh, and I'm on TikTok, sometimes I go live. I welcome people, except if you are stubborn, just want to waste my time, I have to stop it. Barakallah you May Allah guide us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us sincerity. May Allah aid our brothers and sisters in Gaza. And may Allah give them victory. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept those who have passed away as the martyrs. And one thing I want to mention, how can I believe that people of Palestine, the Mushrikun, when I make dua to Allah accept as a, as a martyr and, have, and ask Allah to have mercy upon them? But like they said, Aina dhahabat uqool in nas. What happened to the people's intellect? However, let me finish with something. Mustamiruna bi idnillah ta'ala. We continue to call Tawheed and Sunnah and refuting atheism, Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism, and Kharijism, and Shiism, and Irjaism, every ism, inshallah ta'ala. And our criteria is the Quran and the Sunnah of the Salaf. And me refuting the other groups doesn't mean if I see one of them, if I see Hindu or a Sikh or a Jew, I'm going to kill him. No. Be intellectual refutation, alhamdulillah. Now, if someone attack me, I try my best to defend myself. Alhamdulillah. Even by the British law, you're allowed to do it. Barakallah. You can may Allah bless you, my dear brothers and sisters. May Allah give us sincerity. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.